I was going to ask you if you thought the Prime Minister was living up to his self-appointed title of Prime Minister for Indigenous Affairs, but I think we have a fair view of the answer of that. So can I ask you what it would take for the Prime Minister to do to be able to live up to such a title of being a Prime Minister for Indigenous Affairs? What could he do to rightfully claim that title? Um, cease contributing uh, to the narrative, to the discourse of negativity about Indigenous people. Um, you know, the concerns uh, that are parroted like a mantra uh, from the Prime Minister and other members of the government is um, protect kids. And that's good. I want, want to protect. We all want to protect kids. It's a given. Um, safe communities. Of course, we want safe communities. And jobs. You know, it's a three-piece mantra. As if we don't have social and cultural needs. As if we don't have linguistic needs. As if we don't. You know, we don't exist as a people. Um, it's a. It's a three-trick pony and a very small pony at that. Um, stop the negative. I mean, all of those three things are about our failure, supposedly, because we're Aboriginal. You know, the negativity actually makes people sick. If you're constantly told you're useless black and we're going to fix you, it makes you sick. We need more of a positive narrative out there. And, and this narrative, this negative narrative, uh, is not just the white folks who are saying this. Some of our own prominent individuals are joining in like a cheer squad. The reality is many, many, many of us are very successful. We just recently had the Indigenous Governance Awards. Um, the Prime Minister was there. He handed out the awards to a wonderful, wonderful Organisations run by great leaders who are doing really successful things um, for their communities, for, within their organisations, within their regions. We never hear about them from you guys. You know, you, you're too busy on the entertainment of black failure. And that's where the government's mind seems to be and where the public discourse seems to be. It's making me sick too.